So we've installed the analysis tool pack and opened it up and we can see all the different options here. And these various features get used in statistical, scientific, and engineering analysis. Now we're really just interested in the histogram here. But before we make the histogram, we need to do one last thing. So I'm going to cancel this box for the moment. And I'm going to create what are called bins. This will make a little more sense when you actually see the histogram. Now, this set of bins, and in fact, let me go ahead and move it over here, because I don't want you to think that the first line is associated with Molly, the second is associated with Sally, etc. I'm going to start off with 28.46. 28.46. I'm going to select those. Notice uh, 28.46 is the lowest value, and we know that because we've sorted the data by the value of the time here. And the highest value is Brian's at 28.79. So what I want is a series of numbers that span that range from the lowest value to the highest value. And I'm going to do this by taking a range of values that go from the lowest to the highest in increments of 0 0.02. Now I'm going to go back to the data analysis, select histogram, and hit OK. And here's the dialog that appears. The input range is B4 to B23. And in fact, it has guessed what it is that I wanted to make a histogram of. Now, if it did not guess correctly, I would hit this button here. I would come and I would scroll down. And then I would hit that and it would fill it in with these absolute references. B4 to B23. It has also guessed, although a little incorrectly, the range of bins. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. It's saying C5 to C22. It should end at C21. So, and starting at C4. So C4 to C21. And uh, I have the option here to put the result of the histogram into a separate worksheet, and I'll go ahead and use that. So I'm going to hit OK, and we'll take a look at what we have. Let's So here's the result of the histogram analysis. And uh, hopefully now the meaning of the bins will make more sense. The 28.46 bin, frequency 1. What that means is that there is one measurement that goes up to 28.46. In fact, that measurement was 28.46 by Molly. There are two measurements that go up to 28.48 that are greater than but not equal to 28.46 up to and including 28.48. There are four measurements that are greater than 28.48 and less than or equal to 28.50. There are nine measurements that are greater than 28.50 and less than or equal to 28.52, etc. down the line. Now, histograms are much easier to understand graphically, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select these two columns, go to Insert, and we're going to make a chart, and we're going to make a column chart, 2D column chart, the first choice, and here is our graphical histogram, which is showing the measurements. Here's our number line.
going from the smallest measurement, 28.46, to the highest measurement of 28.80 or 28.79. And you can see that, uh, and the vertical axis, by the way, is the number of those measurements. So for instance, here are the nine measurements that are greater than 28.50, but less than or equal to 28.52. And this gives us a visual representation of how much our measurements agree with each other. Most of the people taking these measurements were clustered around 28.52 or so. There are a few people, two people here, who have measurements that are significantly greater than the rest of the group. Now, does that mean that these measurements are necessarily wrong? Not necessarily, but it does give us pause that maybe, maybe these stopwatches had a sticky button. Maybe these uh, folks need to practice their stopwatch technique. We don't know, and without some indication that the data is actually bad, probably more indication than just this, I would be hesitant to simply throw out that data. Nevertheless, uh, they are significantly different than most of the rest of the group. But that is a histogram, and the closer the measurements are to each other, the higher this peak is, the more precise the data. The more spread out the measurements are, the less precise the data. And that's what a histogram in a graphical format allows you to see.